Okay, this is Darius March from Into the Mantle. Wanted to, to do a retrospective on a classic NES game, Bases Loaded, and highlight some of the anomalies in the game. Um, so first, uh, to select the team, I selected Jersey. This is the team that has the few uh, phenomenal players on it that I wanted to highlight today. So first of all, I chose the pitcher Hall. Uh, Hall is a left-handed pitcher and has some some peculiar characteristics that we'll, we'll go into uh, in a few minutes. But first, uh, I should I wanted to highlight the, the at-bats by first baseman Paste and center fielder Bay. Uh, these two players are extremely good in bases loaded, uh, possibly the best hitters on the, on the game. Uh, so I just wanted to show some of the at-bats by Paste and Bay. This is in the first inning. Uh, Paste is up first, and uh, as you can see, uh, it's bis interesting in, in bases load is, is that Paste and Bay hit the ball so hard that it travels so fast that even uh, what would be normally a double or even a triple is, is a single because it gets to the fielders that quickly. Here's Bay's at bat. See what I mean? Uh, hits it right to the pitcher uh, at a speed that is maybe twice as hard as, as the other players. Uh, now getting back to the pitching, this is Hall pitching in the second inning. Uh, there's a trick that you can do with, with Hall and, and some other players where y you press forward on the NES controller up until the point where the pitcher <coughs> up until the point where the pitcher releases the ball uh, and at that point you press down on the controller. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm pressing pressing up uh, all the way up in, in, until the, the release point, and at that point I'm pressing down. Uh, you can see a bit of the... Well, I was experimenting a little bit with the different different pitches. But when you get it right, you can see the catcher's mitt actually the the shadow of the ball will will descend and disappear into the catcher's mitt I, and I'll show you what I mean so just try, you can try some variations on the pitch uh, that was one of them right there where you you press forward until you release and then press down and the hitters cannot hit that pitch uh, the you will see the shadow of the ball disappear well, well below the catcher, the catcher's mitt. And here, here's another case of the the Boston batters not being able to hit that pitch well. On that one, I, I may have may have slipped up. Uh, but if you if you pay attention to the way that the ball disappears into the catcher's mitt, uh, that that that's how you know you've got the right pitch, and they will not be able to hit that. And as you see, as you can see, that the Boston batters are swinging right through the pitch. All right, here's paste up again. And that's another instance of of just hitting the ball so hard that there's really no chance to to beat it out. Uh, and here's Bay. And that's that's typical of, of base hitting, and he just he hit the ball just out of the park. Um, also, I'm I'm not using um, I'm not using emulator here. I'm I'm not using save states. I'm just playing the game uh, as intended with the with the old system and uh, just connected to a camera. So I uh, don't have any save states here. All right, now here, here's something interesting. When you're when you get into the fourth inning, um, Hall begins to take on a different characteristic. Uh, and what I'm doing here is I'm simply pressing the A button, which is the pitch button. I'm not putting anything on the pitch. I'm not pressing down. I'm not pressing forward. And I'm not doing anything at the release point. I'm simply pressing the A button, and that that causes this special pitch that sort of disappears into the catcher's mitt. Uh, you can watch that happen 
and the, here the batter is just swinging right through that. But the interesting thing is that you'll you'll see that this pitch. <clears throat> This pitch remains unhittable through the, re the remainder of the game. Um, I'm simply pressing the A button and striking out the side uh, every inning. Now, what, one of the um, interesting bits about bases loaded is it did it did have uh, pitchers who would gradually get tired as they pitched throughout the game, uh, which I, I I believe that was the first game to actually feature that. Um, so what happens is that the the pitchers will get tired as you as you pitch throughout the game, uh, forcing you to actually switch pitchers and and put in a relief pitcher. But uh, Hall on the Jersey team does not actually tire out. Um, if if you're using a different pitch and and you're successful with that through the first three innings, if you switch over. Or if you continue with that pitch through the fourth inning, you'll notice that it he does lose some of it, some of the uh, um, some of his stuff, as it were, and you you do you are forced to either come up with a different pitch or switch pitchers. Uh, that is that is one thing that's most peculiar about the 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 way that Hall is simply able able to throw it right down the middle using the A button, not putting anything on it, and actually successfully strike out the side uh, every inning. All right, here's another pasted bat. And this is in the fifth inning. A little behind on that one. Okay, that's another hit that's typical of Paste and Bay. Unfortunately, it was right at the fielder. And you almost saw one of the the typical errors that exist in bases loaded, where uh, a long throw will will reach the the one of the basemen but it will actually bounce before the baseman and roll. And for some reason, the baseman will get out of the way. Uh, that's one of the errors that happens. And here, base, here's a bay just just rocking the, the hit all the way to the warning track there. And here's another paste at bat in the same inning, but uh, a little later. As you can see, I scored seven runs in this inning, so they're bringing in a relief pitcher to relieve... I believe it was Page. Now they're bringing in Gross, who has a slightly higher ERA. So here, here's another paste at bat in the fifth inning. I'm not sure what happened there. It looks like looked like a pop up to the catcher or something. Uh, so paste was out. And just uh, just wanted to prove my point that the. Simply pressing the A button uh, through the remainder of the innings will will strike out the side every time. And speed up a little bit past here. Okay, here's another bay at bat. This is in the bottom of the sixth. And here's a, a typical hit by Bay, where the the ball just it, it's it's typically a double for a, a, a normal batter, but because he hits the ball so hard, he it's only a single. And just wanted to show you that the the side is being retired uh, with you know, three pitches on every batter. <laughs> 